Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So for today, I have kind of a fun little video for you all. I'm going to be talking about, now I will say, the famous, the infamous, Lululemon belt bag. I'm going to be doing my review on the two sizes that I decided to pick up and tell you know what I like about each little design. If you want to hear all my thoughts on this famous Lululemon belt bag, definitely keep on watching. If you are new here, thanks so much for checking this out. I'm a full-time working mom, but in my spare time, I love making these videos on beauty, fashion, mommy lifestyle, in addition to a little bit of reselling and luxury, just kind of all things that I like doing in my spare time. So if those kind of things sound at all interesting to you, definitely check out my other videos linked down below, and please consider also hitting that subscribe button too. If you are a returning subscriber, thank you so, so much for watching yet another video. All right, guys, so I decided to put together a little video on my relatively new Lululemon belt bags in two different sizes, because if you are anything like me, you have seen these things literally everywhere. So this first started catching my eye several months ago. I went to Hawaii, as you all probably know if you watch my channel, two times this year. And during my first trip, I started seeing people wear these around Hawaii a lot. And, you know, I definitely, definitely was interested. They caught my eye. I thought that they would be so practical for travel. They look cute as well. So, um, yeah, that's when I first started kind of, checking these out more. I also had my eye at that time on getting the Louis Vuitton bum bag. And as you all know, those have been discontinued and really, really hard to get in boutiques. But during that initial Hawaii trip many months ago now, I was on the hunt for that. And I saw these as a pretty decent alternative. So I only honestly recently picked this up several months ago. And I've really been enjoying using these, so much so that now I have two in two slightly different sizes. So I wanna take you guys through kind of what fits inside, the slight differences that I've found between both of these sizes, and kind of let you know my thoughts and recommendations about this. Of course, this is in no way sponsored. I honestly purchased both of these by myself entirely from Lululemon. So I think this is a pretty unbiased review of these little bags. All right, guys, so the official name of this little bag here is the Everywhere Belt Bag. This is in the size large, and this is in the original size. So this is Everywhere Belt Bag Large, and this is just called the Everywhere Belt Bag, both from Lululemon. As you can see, just on initial looks here, there is a slight size difference between the large and the original size, and I will break this down for you in more detail. There are also some design features too, which I think you should be aware of in case you're curious about checking one of these out for yourself. So I think first, I'm just gonna start sharing with you some up close details on the original one, and then I will do the same with the large and draw some comparisons between them because one of them might work better for your particular lifestyle. I'm also gonna take you through what fits inside, kind of show you some examples and some basics that I like to put in them. And then of course, obviously, I'm gonna do a few mod shots so you can check out the comparisons between the two. All right, so here's what the bag looks like now, and I will show you some up close shots. But before I do, I did save the original hang tags because I wanna show you the SKU, but also um, share with you price points and some details. So again, this is the original Everywhere Belt bag. And in terms of some of the details, um, it is a water repellent fabric. I think it's a line, nylon polyester type of fabric. And there is an adjustable strap, as you'll see in a few minutes up close. There are several secure zipper pockets, as I will show you. The dimensions though, in case you're curious, of the original size are seven and a half inches by two inches by five inches. So seven and a half inches length, five inches in height and two inches in depth. So pretty decent size. Um, and it says the volume is one liter, I think, which is a weird way to measure volume, I think, but you know, that's what it says on the tag. <laughs> so let me show you the SKU tag up close in case you wanna check out some of the numbers for yourself. I will say that these bags are pretty limited online. I always kind of check out the Lululemon website, particularly for this bag, because I like it so much that I do want to add other colors to my collection. But honestly, whenever they quickly pop up, they get sold out instantly. So definitely recommend checking through the website periodically to see what you can find. 
I got both of these in local boutiques near where I live, but two separate boutiques. And let me just say the stock is super limited. And I've noticed that with all of Lululemon bags in general, in particular these belt bags, whenever I walk into a store, it's almost always sold out and you don't have a lot of selection. So the black one was the only one in the store when I got it. They had a few of these, but this was the only color that they had at the time. So although it's this bright neon a type of a highlighter color bag, I wanted to go for it because I really, really love the size of this one. But now that I have this one, I actually kind of like how bright it is. It's definitely a change of pace from my black one, and it definitely has a little bit of a pop when you wear it. So let me show you some of the details up close. So the first stop here is the SKU tag, as I promised. It's called the Everywhere Belt Bag. And as you can see, it retails for $38 US dollars here. So here are some of the features I will just quickly take you through. So it has the really cute Lululemon metal silver tone hardware right here. And it has the Lululemon rubberized logo tag here as well. On the back, it has one zipper pocket, which is super convenient. I will show you, it does hold a really large cell phone, which is really nice, and that's where I like to keep it. And it is nice and secure, and it has a little pull tab there as well. And then the strap is adjustable. And what I really like about the strap is that it has these extra actual elasticized bands to hold the strap in place, so the strap end is not flopping around everywhere when you wear it. So I really, really love that detail. And then it's a pretty simple design inside. There's one zipper pull on this original version. It is branded and it is silver tone, in case you're curious. And then when you open this up, it's pretty simple. There's the hang tag there, the actual tag. And on the inside, there is one little rubberized type of uh, Lululemon tag there, as you can see. And then there are a couple of mesh pockets. There's one large full length pocket here. And then on the opposite side, there is another mesh pocket, but it's stitched down. So they're a little smaller, um, as you can see here. Other than that, it's a big open center, but just really simple design. I really like this particular version because with the one zipper and simple design, it's really easy to get in and out. The zipper is very smooth and it is notable that there is no gusset on the side here of the zipper. This will become relevant um, when I compare it to the larger version where there is a gusset, but there's no gusset here, which I actually like. I don't think you really need a gusset. I mean, I'm not carrying too many small, small items in this kind of a thing, just really my essentials. So I don't think you really need that gusset design. All right, guys, so here is the larger version a little bit up close. And I will start off by just sharing with you the SKU tag like I did on the previous one. So this one is the large version. So it's called the Everywhere Belt Bag Large. And this retails for $10 more than the original. So this one retails, as you can see, for $48. So according to the trusty hand tag here, the dimensions of this particular large version include a length of 8.3 inches a height of 5.7 inches, and then a depth of 2.2 inches. So definitely slightly larger than the original, obviously. In terms of the details, most of it is really the same, but there are some key slight differences, which actually might be important to you as you're making your selection. So with this one, it has the same silver tone Lululemon metal buckle here or button. It has the rubberized tag here as well, which is exactly the same as the original version. On the back, you have the same zippered pocket, which is perfect for a cell phone. Now this one can even hold a larger cell phone because <laughs> it's a little bigger. It has the same little zipper pull detail as well. The buckles, are the same too and it has the same rubberized little holders here for the strap so it allows your strap to stay in place once you adjust it and it is this plastic buckle just like on the original one of the differences here is that the large version has this extra placket here so the original one has a strap attached right to the bag but this one has a little bit more structure I would say to maybe hold heavier items so it has this extra kind of 
It's like a trapezoidal type of uh, extra flap here, which the original does not have. So that is on both sides. One of the other differences between the original and the large is this one has two zippers. If you remember on the original one, there's just one zipper. This one has two. So if you open it up, it is a very smooth zipper. The zipper itself is plastic. So one of the other key differences, as you probably saw when I opened this, is this zipper is not as fluid. It gets caught right here. So the reason it's getting caught right here is the same reason that a lot of my other little crossbody bags also get caught right at this location. And the reason is there's a gusset. So the zipper is getting caught on the top of the fabric gusset right here. Let me show you what I mean. So as you can see here, there is this extra little gusset detail here. Because this bag is larger, they decide to put in a little gusset so things won't come out. So the problem with these gussets though is that the zipper often gets stuck on this particular fabric part when you're opening it. It's usually not a big deal, you just have to fuss with it a little bit, but I don't like the idea of that. See, it automatically has a little stopping point right there. Honestly, right there. <laughs> so you have to kind of fuss with the zipper to get it past that. One way of getting around this that I've realized, actually on my other bags that do this, is I don't unzip it all the way. I'll zip it part way such that I'm not hitting the gusset, and then that's an easy way to kind of get in and out. The zipper is very fluid, of course, so that's an easy way to get around that, but just be aware that there is a gusset here. So overall, the zipper entry is not as smooth as the original one for that reason. But once you get inside, essentially it's the same design. It has the Lululemon tag on the back here. And then it has the same one large full length mesh pocket here. And on the opposite wall, it has a mesh pocket, but it is divided into two smaller sections, as you can see here. And then it is a big open center, even bigger than the other one, obviously. So as you can see, there are some slight differences in design of the original versus the larger everywhere belt bags. Overall, the design is pretty much similar. The main difference, obviously, is a slight size difference. Um, just so you're aware, I did purchase this one first, like I mentioned, in the boutique, and I really, really enjoyed using it. I think that the pop of color is really fun, honestly. The material on this one, for whatever reason, feels softer or easier on the hand than the black one, and the fabrication is exactly the same, but I believe that's because it's probably just smaller in size and it has a little less fabric, again, without the gusset that I mentioned earlier. So this does have a little bit of a softer hand to it in the small version versus the large version. This feels more structured. Um, and besides that, you know, this one definitely carries a lot more. So just really depending on what your needs are, you may want to go for one or the other. I decided to go for the large because again, it offers a little bit more versatility in terms of what you can carry, but also it was black. <laughs> so if I did see the smaller one in black, I probably would have selected that, <laughs> but they didn't have it, like I mentioned. These things are often really frequently sold out. So I wanted to just snatch this up when I saw it. Um, but when I saw this in black, it was the only one in the store, I just had to go for it. So that's why I purchased this most recently. But I think the black obviously is overall more versatile because you can wear it with more things than this one. But this does allow for a pop of color, especially since this bag obviously is a casual looking bag. I think pops of colors are really fun. I'm not going to be needing to use this bag for many occasions like going out, going to work, things like that. This just does not work for me, obviously. So I don't care too much that it's black in retrospect. It doesn't really have to be for this type of style. When I go for more luxury bags, as you all know, I'm more of a neutral person because those are the bags that really have to perform in many different settings for me because of, you know, the considerable price points. But with these, I think these are meant to be very casual and casual bags. I think it could be a lot more fun for that reason. All right, well, let me just show you a couple mod shots to kind of compare the sizes um, for both of these, and then I will show you briefly kind of what fits inside. Okay, guys, so just so you're aware, I'm about 5'4 in height, and let me just throw on this first original size. So this is the setting that I currently like to wear it um, as, and, you know, this is how it is styled online and how everyone generally wears it. Of course, you could wear it as a true fanny or belt bag as well. I mean, I definitely honestly like that look. I think it's a practical look too. But this one is obviously how people wear bum bags these days. 
and you know it's very practical your belongings are right on your chest if you put your phone in the back it's right on your chest you will not miss a phone call ever and your hands free so it's awesome for a lifestyle like mine where you're usually holding kids hands or holding items in your hands and you just want to you know be hands free it's super easy to access your items too. You just go ahead and reach down, grab what you need, and then zipper it up real quickly. So super comfortable. I honestly really, really love this look. Again, this is the original size. So let me just throw on the larger size here. Okay, so as you can see with this larger size on, it is larger. It holds a lot more, but it does take up a lot more space on your chest, for instance. So I'm not sure everybody would be a huge fan. I think the smaller one actually looks a little better in terms of scale. This is a little bit bulky. It covers, you know, most of my chest, but it holds more. I personally like this one as well, especially because it's more neutral. So it definitely would go with more outfits, I'll say. Um, but, you know, it is a noticeable size difference and you feel it too when you have it on. It's definitely larger. Plus, remember, one of the differences here is that it has this extra bit of fabric on the ends here. So that also leads to kind of the more bulky look, I would say, compared to the original size. But this is equally comfortable and super easy to grab your things um, as well from here. So again, just a little bit of a different look, more bulky, but can hold more items. But this is how the large version looks like on. Okay, so I just grabbed a few of my essential items just to give you a little bit of a sense of what kind of items fit in one size versus the other. Um, this is not going to fill up the bag entirely, but just to give you some kind of size and reference frame in case you're curious. So what I always do is I put my phone in the back zipper pocket. I think it's perfect for that. I love bags with back zippered pockets or back pockets because I need my phone to be really easy access like I think all of us do these days. So this is the iPhone 13 Pro Max. So one of the larger size phones, probably not the largest out there, but larger size. This is the original belt bag and it fits perfectly in the back and it can zipper close. So there's my phone in the back. I always keep it in there. I know where it's at. When it's on my chest, I can feel it vibrating or ringing, so I never miss a call. I love that feature. So that's where my phone goes. And then on the inside, there's a ton of room, and this fabric, again, is nylon. Let's see, yes, nylon, um, the body, and then the lining is polyester, and then there's mesh. So because this is a fabric a nylon bag, it is very flexible and moldable. So you can really stretch this to the brim if you want. I don't like to because I don't want to carry something that heavy on my chest, but also I don't want to stretch it out. So what I typically carry, of course, besides my phone is a card holder, which I don't personally have here right now, but obviously a card holder is going to fit and you can put it in the back pocket. That tends to be where I put it. And then you can carry your keys. So I have key fobs, I throw that in there. Lip gloss, hand lotion, hand sanitizer. All those things fit. And just for size reference though, I wanted to pick a little bit more bulky items to kind of show you guys what might work. I mean, obviously the smaller stuffs that I just mentioned are gonna work in there, but the bulkier ones, sometimes you're curious about, like I am. So one is a full size sunglass case. So this is one of my Key Australia sunglasses. You know, I love this brand, so I have a ton of these. I don't love the case, as I mentioned many times before, because it comes usually with this plastic case with really sharp ends. So if I'm carrying one of more um, a designer or luxury or higher end bag, I don't bring the case ever because I worry this is gonna scratch the lining of my bag, and it does. <laughs> so if you're wearing these glasses, I would highly suggest putting it in a different soft-sided case. But for this kind of bag, I don't really care if it scratches because it's, you know, polyester on the inside. So it's definitely more wear resistant. So you can throw this plastic case in here. So for a frame of reference, a full sunglass case easily fits. So hopefully you guys can see, I have my phone in the back, I have a full size sunglass case, and then I have a ton of other rooms. So again, my card holder goes back here, I throw in my keys there, and the front mesh pockets, I'll throw in a lip gloss or a small pack of tissues, and that is all. 
That's all you need, really. Your essentials, it zips up very nicely. There's a lot of room to spare. So these are the kind of things that I tend to keep with me, really just the essentials. If I need anything more than that, I have a tote bag with me as well. And I will mention this bag is perfect um, as a mommy bag just for your essentials. And then you can throw this in diaper bags, throw this in hand carry luggage. It's kind of a bag in a bag idea. Um, that's really high. I love using these little belt bags. So anyway, um, you can see just with the full sunglass case, lots of room to spare. So this is my Louis Vuitton original Zippy wallet, so a full size wallet. I will say that in the original version here, it does barely fit and you can zip it up, but I would never carry a full size wallet in a belt bag. I think that's just not the idea when you're carrying belt bags, you want to be more minimal. Uh, but just so you know what types of sizes of things fit, I think a lot of people can relate to full size wallets. That's why I pulled this out. Um, so it would barely fit if you squeeze it in there. But as you can see, it takes up most of the room there. You really can't get much else in here comfortably. I mean, just a couple of little things probably. But um, yeah, I do not recommend a full size wallet. Although size wise, it actually does fit. As you can see, it gets in there and you can pull the edges up but I do not think a full size wallet fits in the original size here. But besides that, you know, everything else that you would need for just, you know, a day trip somewhere um, would fit really comfortably here. This is obviously perfect too uh, for going to theme parks, which my family likes to do as well. Um, I think it's great for kind of your essentials that you want to keep close to you. Okay, so just real quickly, I will show you for comparison how these items look in the larger version so obviously this is all going to fit and more so in the back zippered pocket here i always again put my cell phone and this one has a ton of room so it has probably about an inch and a half space on top of the phone before the zipper hits so there's more room in here for other things if you want but usually if i'm going to use the back pocket for my phone i don't want to put anything else because i know this is going to be a high usage type of a pocket and I'm going to be in and out a lot. I don't want things like card holders or other things in there because I worry that when I grab for my phone quickly, other stuff's going to fly out. So I usually just reserve the back pocket for my phone, but it fits super comfortably, especially in the larger size. And then for the big compartment here, again, obviously the sunglass case will fit very comfortably, as you can see there. And the full-size wallet in here, I would say, does fit comfortably. Okay, so with this one, as you can see, it's really in there, and it fits really comfortably. This one will be able to zipper a lot easier than the other one could, so there is space. Again, I would never carry a full-size wallet in a bag like this, but I just use it for a frame of reference because I know you guys can relate to that particular size. So there is extra space in case you want to do that. In case you want to also carry, you know, your sunglasses, you could do that as well. And it would zip up too. So just for, you know, frame of reference, I have a full-size sunglass case in here, my full-size zippy wallet. I could fit other stuff too, as you can see, it's nowhere near capacity. So you could fit a lot more in the larger size that, I mean, there's no way I could fit both of these items in the original size. So in case that's important to you and you want to carry a little bit more with you, I would go for the large size for sure. All right, guys, so that was my real quick little review and try on session for my now famous, I will say, Lululemon Everywhere belt bags. I hope you found this helpful and kind of provided you with some information if you're deciding between these two sizes and styles. If you had to have me pick just one, I would honestly say if you could just buy one of these bags and have it be the most practical for you for that reason, I would probably go for the original size, but in black. <laughs> Even though I said I do like a pop of color, which I will stand by, overall the black is more versatile, obviously. And the smaller size, I think, is for me at least more practical. It's more comfortable on the body. I don't like the gussets on the large, as I mentioned earlier, because I think the zipper pulls often get stuck on them. So I just like the overall look and size of the original size. So I would go for the original in a dark color if I could only pick one of these. 
Overall though, do I recommend these bags? Absolutely yes, obviously. I think the price points are excellent. You get a similar look to other designer bum bags out there and you get more uh, practical usage, I will say, out of these because they're very durable, they're nylon, they're wipeable. You can spill things in them and just wipe them clean. So these are such versatile, versatile, casual bags. Perfect for a lifestyle like mine with four little kids. It's really on the go a lot on the weekends in particular. I think these are amazing. So definitely check them out if you haven't already. They are a little bit hard to come by, but I think there are some good dupes out there. I know on Amazon I've seen. But, you know, I think if you keep trying at the boutiques, they often do stock them periodically. Well, thank you so much for watching another video. I hope you're staying safe and healthy, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.